hate to ask, but I'm going to ask. Was it was it a man that was doing the same job as you and earning more? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah. yeah. And you know what? It was so interesting because this, I, I kind of then got had a beam up on it about it a little bit. But I remember at the time, or maybe it was around that time prior to that, I can't remember exactly. But I just remember I was recruiting and I you know, interviewed various people. And I remember asking a guy, um, what are your salary expectations? And he just looked me in the eye and was just like, I, I earn X and I'd be looking for Y and added sort of like 15K to, to, to the number. I was like, okay, that's interesting. And then I, inter- and, and he'd not given a very good interview either. Um, you know, his just, it just wasn't great. His answers were a bit wishy-washy. He wasn't even a qualified accountant at this point, you know, so he didn't have his, you know, qualifications to, to back sort of anything up. And then I interviewed a, a female who interviewed way better, uh, was just way more competent, um, you know, great. I really liked her. I could tell that she'd be really, really great in the role and, and hardworking and whatnot. And then I asked her what her salary expectations were. And she, because this was, she was kind of, she was moving into finance and it was a break away from the industry that, or the, the, the area she had been in. So because of that, she was just like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I know I'm, I haven't worked in finance before. So I'd, I'd move for, you know, the, the same money and, you know, didn't ask for a 15K pay rise like the other guy did. And, you know, maybe it's a bit of a facile example, but I just thought this is the difference between guys and girls. I've got this great girl who's clearly really competent and no, she hasn't worked in finance, but she's got all this experience with all these transferable skills. And I can tell that she'll be able to do this job with her eyes closed, even though she hasn't got finance experience. And then I've got this guy who gave me all these wishy-washy answers that, yes, has started his qualifications, but he hasn't finished and didn't give me very strong answers and then just asked for 15K on top of what he was you know, earning. And yeah. look, maybe he was trying it on, but just because he had the guts to ask for that, I couldn't help but think some sucker's probably going to give that to him just because he had the balls to ask, whereas, you know, she didn't. So I offered her the yeah. job and I offered, I gave her more money because I was like, maybe you didn't ask well me done. for it, but I think you're, you know, I think you're worth it and I want you to come here feeling motivated. And years ago, that's probably the kind of thing I would have done. I would have been like, oh, like, you know, I don't have the experience, this, that and yeah. the other. And you do read that, don't you, that guys will apply for a job even if they only meet like 50% of the criteria or something. Whereas, you know, a female, if she's, you know, there's a couple of things that she doesn't think she can do, she won't um, apply at all. And it just, yeah, it just really Mm. annoyed me because I just thought, you know, that's what perpetuates gender pay gaps and and things like that. And even in interviews, I mean, you know, he was honest and he told me what he earned, but that's now a question that if I'm asked that in an interview, I just don't offer up that information because I kind of think, neither of us have got anything to gain from me telling you what I earn because if you've got a role on offer you know you know what you want to to pay you know what the budget is and if I tell you a certain figure immediately you're then just going to judge me because it's like okay well if I tell you what I earn and this job is for the same salary are you then going to be thinking well why would you move for a job that's not an increase or you know how much of an increase is acceptable if I tell you I earn x and this job is you know for you know, 50k more than that, does that mean I'm then not up for the job? And I just think it's such a, it opens a can of worms, I think. uh, And it perpetuates pay gaps, because women tend to do themselves a disservice. um, And guys, and guys don't. 